Hi all, welcome to Pantaki Land. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So now uh, this will be that particular result. So this is nothing but the original image. Okay, so this particular original image are like uh, multiple colors converted to gray. And from the gray, whenever the image is getting opened, the intensity of greater than 150. And after that, how uh, it will be there after closed. So by combining both of this, number of objects can be found. So where and all the white part. So this uh, particular white with black combination is there. That is considered as the objects. So that particular object numbers, it is being displayed. So there are totally seven objects over there. And this will be that particular matrix number, whatever everyone has been expected, like how the image will be reading. So how that it will be able to convert it over here. So this and all only known as that particular man matrix numbers. Okay. Now I will just change the value to 100 and execute the code. Now let us see how many objects are there. So there are totally 12 objects. Okay. So that particular 12 objects, uh, it is very difficult to count in a minute sections over here. So the variation of this intensity, it is possible from 0 to 255. So when you apply for the 255, which is the maximum range of intensity. So here you have only one object. What happens if I give it for 200? We have seen for 150, 255, and now we are going to see for 200. And therefore there are four objects. So calculate in and four kinds of sections. So therefore this is known as the objects found. And this will be the intensity range. This also comes uh, part of segmentation. So regarding the segmentation, we'll be seeing in the upcoming classes. Now what happens if we are providing this intensity level in the range of 50? Because for double digit, we have to try it. So for double digit also, 12 objects. If we provide it for 0, 16 objects. Now you can see the difference. Like I have set the range from 0 to 255. So that particular 0 to 255, when we are applying the 255, the number of objects was 1. But when you go for the num uh, number of objects 16, so therefore the intensity should be 0. But here it is not completely showing it as 0 objects are present. So that is nothing but the complete process of image which varies on the intensity. According to the image, the intensity variation also gets changed. But here also you can see how that particular matrix values has been changed. So how much uh, difference will be uh, that particular uh, objects between the zero as well as the single digits. So I will apply the single digits as 80, sorry, eight. So if you apply any of the single digit, therefore it will be completely the 16. If you are going in the range of 50 to 100, number of objects will be 12. If you are going with 150 above, it will be seven. If you're going for 200 plus, it will be four. And if you're going for 255, it will be as one object. So like that only the multiple objects are being segmented by using this kind of functions. Okay. So now let us move on to the function like histogram. Histogram, it is like an equalization of uh, multiple colors present inside the image. So that particular data, whatever we are getting, it will be plotted in the form of a graph. So here we are not using any of the functions uh, like a plot uh, like bar graph or like that all because inside histogram uh, function itself we have a default plot section according to the process whatever we see the image also will be taken automatically over here so as usual we are providing all the clear data then we are reading that particular image and that image is plotted uh, in the subplot so to see it in a different way okay leave it uh, if you go for subplot only it will be very good so from this particular subplot I am displaying that particular image after that converting into the grayscale. Now I am going to find out the histogram equalization for a gray image. So for that, the main function is hist eq. Hist eq will be known as that particular function. So within that, the respective variable should be provided and it has been provided as gray. Now what and all the images will be displayed means one is that particular gray and another one is the histogram. So this histogram itself, we are taking it for three different plots. Okay, that is for uh, original image, gray image, and finally the histogram applied image. So here for now, I am commenting it and we are running only that particular equalization. So this is known as histogram equalized image. This is for a MRI scan image. 
the same thing if we go for a color image which is similar to the gray scale okay but some pixel variations and clarity will be changed now how to plot this particular data now i am running it okay so these are that particular image and here we can see the difference for color image this will be the equalization plot instead of subplot i will just display it separately so that we can see the graph as clear as possible okay so here we have three different sections these are the original images first let us go the variation for original image so this is that particular variation for original image histogram which is known as uh, into the power of 4 this is for the gray image so that particular variation is identified over here that it was 10 to the power of 4 here there is no such powers even though it is taking in four digits uh, here the normal values are taken in the form of 10 to the power of 3 and this is nothing but the histogram data so on this basis only that complete classification can be applied over here this is known as histogram equalization sir in histogram plot what is x axis and y axis yeah so this particular plot inside this x axis and y axis x axis is known as total number of bins like uh, can we said as total number of pixels etc and this is known as the frequency of each and every pixels the y axis is completely known as the frequency of complete pixels okay so here there is another one question l num yeah this is to count the number of labels count the number of labels from the closed image okay so the inverse of the closed image only we will be able to calculate the label value in the form of unsigned integer 8 bit yeah frequency means intensity it is uh, directly proportional to intensity like that only we can see intensity of particular image just i will run this code okay so here just see here the subplot i have taken it as 3 comma 1 comma 1 so there are three rows one column and which position so here i have given it as first position so first position is original image 3 comma 1 comma 2 so uh, three rows only one column so on second position i have taken as the gray image third position as histogram image this is known as the subplot fine okay so let us see for the next application next application it is nothing but how to combine two image into a single image here first we are providing all the clearing of clearing and closing of data the next thing i am reading one of the image i am reading the second image so plotting both the images so here i am using the new function known as im show pair okay in this type of montage display i will be showing it so these are known as the original image part now both the images are in different different size so if the both the images are in different different size then we won't be able to combine it at all so what we have to do means we have to resize that particular image so for that here i am using resize function which is known as im resize so within that im resize the first parameter it is nothing but known as the image where we have read it and the second parameter is known as the size of the image which we has to be converted so here i have given that particular command as 250 comma 250 the same thing i have provided for the other image also so re and re1 now here i am going to combine both the images the combining is done using the function known as im add so which two images i am going to combine means re comma re1 so that is the combination has been done and therefore that has been plotted in another plot so the name of that particular image it is known as uh, merge which can be said as merged image i am executing it okay so this is known as that particular image so i am show pair combining two images and this is nothing but the merged image so here the intensity or any of the variations nothing has been changed over here okay thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel